Get your dose of UAP greatness here on your official game day habit. Welcome to Upfront at the UAP and we're here in Adamson University. Ako si Tours Daza. At ako naman si Angelique Manto. While you're rooting for your favorite basketball teams to go for more wins this round two and eventually make it to mm -hmm. the semis, its champions have already emerged in another exciting UAAP event. That's right. Yan ang Season 80 Swimming Tournament. And Ange, last Sunday nagtapos mm -hmm. ang four-day event sa Rizal Memorial Swimming Pool. At inuwi ng Ateneo de Manila University. <laughs> wow! Home Sorry. school. Ang corona <laughs> ng men's and women's division. And of course, Upfront at the UAAP was there to capture how the best young swimmers from the eight universities raced and fought for their alma mater. Top swimmers made a major splash last weekend sa UAAP Season 80 Swimming Tournament. Jam-packed ang Rizal at todo cheer ang supporters ng bawat kupunan. Sa finals, nanguna ang two-time Olympian Jesse Lacuna for Team Ateneo. He kept racking up medals in different events including the 200-meter fly. Rookie Ateneo swimmer Chloe Daos also did not disappoint. Gold din ang nakuha niya sa 200-meter fly event. Nagpakilala din sa swim tournament, ang blue chip recruit ng Ateneo na si Miguel Carlo Barlisa. Miguel bagged the gold at the 50-meter free event. Ateneo was on a different level ngayong season dahil inuwi nila ang double crown ng UAAP. Four-peat na ang Ateneo sa men's division. At sa individual awards, Jesse Lacuna is still the king as he bags another season MVP trophy for Ateneo. Uh, it's very special for us because this is a uh, bag for us because we only have one this year. We made a way to get the people on different events. So I think it's another special naman every year up. So, yeah. Miguel Carlo Barlisan also got the Rookie of the Year recognition. Being here is such an honor and such a privilege to to, to represent my school Ateneo and actually winning the Rookie of the Year for them. I owe everything to my school and thank you so much Lloyd for giving me this opportunity. Special din ang season for the Ateneo women's team as they reclaimed the title. Rookie of the Year and MVP si Chloe Daos. Um, I'm really happy because our team, we've been working for this since the whole year basically. So it's just really fulfilling for us to be able to get it again. Siyempre, di rin nagpatalo ang up-and-coming swimmers ng UAAP Juniors. Champion ng DLSU sa Girls Division at back-to-back -back naman ang USD sa Boys Division. Sancho Ilustre and Nikki Pamintuan were named MVPs. This UAAP is really memorable. It was a really close fight and I saw my teammates do their best. Habang Rookie of the Year si Terrence Delvo of UE na Boys category. Celebrating her first time in the UAAP as a Rookie of the Year was Chelo Neri. Hi to my parents, to Coach Tan, and to Coach Miko for helping me get to UAP, and also to my teammates for the support, and also my UP teammates. At ano nga ba ang masasabi nila as they close out their UAAP season? We like to thank the, the UP community! community. Thank you to my parents and to my coaches and to the team. Uh, thank you so much for always pushing me for, for my team captain Aldo Matumbaka and my co-cap uh, Paolo Mutok and for the Olympian who I train with every day, Jesse Lacuna. So much thank you for always pushing me. For me, my UAAP experience was so memorable. I'll describe the UAAP AP as fulfilling and fun. Uh, I would like to thank our coaches and all our teammates who gave their uh, who gave their never-ending support to us. Different competition, iba-iba naman yung experiences. So, happy, happy. Iba rin yung environment at saka yung spirit. So. Shoutout sa mga dormates namin. <laughs> sa dormates namin sa Lasal, sa mga teachers. Shoutout sa mga kaibigan ko dyan sa Angeles. <laughs> Kapalin! <laughs> Animo Lasal on me! One, two, three! Animo Lasal! My UAAP experience is memorable. My UAAP experience is exciting. 
Run on three! One, two, three! Run! Hashtag competitive at hashtag memorable ang UAAP Season 80 for our swimmers. At sa ipinapakitang talent ng ating mga athletes, tiyak na mas aabangan ang susunod na UAAP Swimming Tournament. Congratulations to Ateneo Season 80 yes. Swimming Champions. Woo! One big fight and tours. The badminton tournament also just ended. So we'll be giving you the championship highlights next week. Yes, and when we return, I'll be joined by Mark Maloles, isang rookie of the UE Red Warriors, and me, isang rookie ng Upfront. We'll be trying out a new self-defense technique called Krav Maga. Upfront at the UAP, we'll be right back. Games, ayun, naririnig natin na chat and defense! Defense! defense. defense. Dito sa up front, eh literal na defense <laughs> ang natutunan ni Torres kasama ang rookie ng isang UE Red Warrior. That's right, ang sinamahan ko si Mark Malolas as we train for this military fighting system as well as self-defense technique called Krav Maga. And Ange, oh. mapaproud ka dito sa mga action star moves ko. Wow, sige nga, tingnan natin. As in, kaya ko namang provinciano. Wow. Pero, iba din yung mga moves ni Mark dito on this edition of Change Court. We are here in Anytime Fitness in El Pueblo, Ortigas, and we've got something great in store for you today. I'm gonna be joined by a special guest from UE, and we're gonna be trying out Krav Maga. If you've never heard of it, it's an Israeli self-defense technique that a lot of people are using now. It's in a lot of movies, like Parang Taken ni Liam Neeson, Parang ganun siya. So, let's get started. Come on! What's up, Mark? What's up, What's up Mr. Bro? Okay, guys, I'm here with Mark, isang rookie sa UE Red Warriors. And today, we're gonna be trying out Krav Maga. But before we start, Mark, kumusta ka? Ah, okay naman ako. Ah. Okay naman? Medyo curious lang ako about today. Yung Krav Maga. Uh, First time mo ba mo Krav Maga? Apo. As in, wala kang self-defense experience at all or pang taekwondo? Wala po, wala po. Wala? Okay. Okay, okay. Pero before we start sa so court, may mga tanong ako para sa'yo. Yung team nyo ngayon, yung UE, what are you guys bringing sa Season 80 na iba siya compared to yung mga years before? Medyo okay kami nung pre-season, tapos nung mga recent games namin, mga first game, second game namin sa UAP, medyo ano kami, mm -hmm. nangangapa ka pa kami, parang ganun. Oh. Pero nung last two games namin versus Lasalle and UST, okay kami. Well, kailangan natin support each other ngayon oh. because we're gonna be doing Krav Maga. Okay, so Mark, meet namin yung mga coaches namin for today. We have Jess Garcia. Yes. And Attorney Jay Hippolito. Hello po. Okay, and part sila ng International Krav Maga Federation Philippines. So coach, can you explain, ano yung Krav Maga? Okay, um, basic explanation lang ng Krav Maga. So it's a tactical defense system. So um, defend and counter-attack as soon as possible. And inflicting yung maximum damage doon sa attacker. And of course, as much as possible, yung least damage sa amin or no damage at all. Okay, yes. yun yung objective natin. So basically, wala talaga siyang rules. Mm -hmm. Kasi um, it's built, um, ang, ang tinuturo namin is how to survive dun sa mga attacks that's happening in the streets. So Coach Jess, anong situations itutu ituturo niyo sa amin today? Okay, so today we will uh, try to cover yung knife attacks, knife threats, knife and threats. a bit on gun threats. Let's do it! Number one scenario is, of course, if you are in an argument, as much as possible, you have to prepare yourself. So, from this motion, he'll be punching. Okay, that go fast. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Inside palm will be blocking yung punch niya. Ang rhythm here is one and a half beats. So, from this, I block and this one is already coming in. 45 degrees, punching, hand is trapping. Punching, stepping. From here, punch again. So chin. Chin, yes. Grabbing, knee. Knee face. From here, step, kick, Pang, yung knee, balance. and run. Okay. Mark, ikaw muna. Go. Punch. punch kick. That's it. 
So the second uh, technique that we will discuss is knife threat. The situation is, let's pretend that you are uh, in an ATM machine uh, withdrawing, then somebody comes from, me, uh, from the side, I'm here, and then he draws the knife. So, uh, okay, no need to actually go after the attacker because my knife is What you need to do is to survive. Okay, I punch the knife, boom, deflecting it away from me. Then I do a side kick to the knee, then I run away. Kuya, ano kailangan mo? Wala, 20 pesos lang ako. Bang! Bang! Okay, so yung last scenario namin, threat lang siya kasi nasa ATM ka. Pero ito, yung parang may attacker na like with intent, diba, to kill. So, what do you explain, coach? So, yung reaction from this one is 360 defense. Okay. First defense is 360. Okay, 360, hand is at a 45 degree angle. Okay. And counter attack simultaneously. From this one, yung back leg uli natin will do the kick. Boom. And run. Ang scenario natin niya na uh, habang naglalakad ako, may nangurusunado sa akin. So guys, ito yung final scenario namin kung may baril sila. Ito yung gun threat. So coach, pa explain You have to do yung defense would be this. Okay. Anong gusto mo? Ano? Sira mo. Coach, uh, paano po ako kasi hindi po ako marunong mawak na mga Pagka nahawakan mo na, you have to put yung gun dun sa dominant hand mo. Pwedeng madislodge yung magazine. And then yung free hand will slam dun sa may um, magazine butt. After this one, hold dito sa kaking stripe, push forward, and strong command dun sa uh, assailant ninyo. Go down, hands up. And of course, after noon, tawag kayo ng police, okay? Hindi pwede forever na kaganong kayo. Baka mamaya, may biglang dumaan kayo yung pagkamala na hold up, okay? Okay, yung scenario sa akin, um, galing ako sa charity work. Tapos biglang nakita ko ng ex ng girlfriend ko. So, ito na yun. Parang yung so, sabang galit. Siga ka? Ha? 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 Hindi, tayo. Sayaw! Sayaw! Okay, so salamat talaga, Coach J. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Coach J. Thank you for... Yung self-defense techniques, sure, we'll use these every day, sa everyday situations. Pero hopefully, wala nang hold up atin. Sana, <laughs> ever, ever. But before we go, Mark, gusto mo pabati ng mga fans mo, or familia mo sa, sa Laguna, or lahat ng girlfriends mo. Walang <laughs> ko. Wala, wala. Single guy. Uh, binabati ko yung UE community. Uh, sana patuloy yung pag-support sa amin, tsaka sa UAP fans. Uh, especially yung sa province namin na Bilabati ko sa Bitin Bay, Laguna, yung family ko, uh, tsaka yung mami ko sa Italy. Okay, Italy. Okay, coach, and could you please invite anyone who's beginners looking to try Krav Maga or any age? Where can they find you? You can find us on Facebook and uh, on Instagram. Just uh, type IKMF Philippines, so eventually it will uh, pop out. Further queries, you may contact Jessica De Jesus. Uh, numbers are 917-894. And we'd like to say thank you to Anytime Fitness for hosting us for this place. Thank you again to UE for bringing us our special talent. And thank you to the International Krav Maga Federation Philippines. Thank you guys so much. That's another segment of Change Court Complete. Woo! Grabe, Ange. Malaking bagay talaga yung Krav Maga. 
as in yung self defense techniques na tuto ko like mm -hmm. alam ko nung anong gagawin ko kapag mayroon na labas ng baril oh. or knife or punch sa face like, hindi lang siya experience kundi parang ang dami din nating natutunan doon at nakapag-try yes. ka ng mixed martial arts like tried din ako before oh, pero really? alam mo yung interesting mark din yung pangalan oh. ng trainer namin doon pero para sa ginawa mo good job doors thank you thank you abang kita pag ikaw na yung next action star ng thank Philippines you. yes but we'll be seeing more of Mark Malolas and the rest of the UE Red Warriors as they fight and try to bounce back sa laban nila later against the UP Fighting Maroon. And up next, we'll be revealing your pickup lines to your favorite players. And aside from that, Ange, I heard that you got to jam with your fellow Tomasians, si Jordan Santa Ana and December Avenue. Yes! Yes, we'll be seeing more of that when upfront at the UAP Returns. the UAAP. Guys, kung kahapon for your upfront Saturday, napusuan at tapa heart emojis kayo sa mga yes. pick-up lines tweeted by you, our very creative and very romantic followers. You guys are in for a treat because we've got more tweets to make you smile. That's right. We asked you guys, what would be the perfect pick-up line to your favorite UAAP basketball players? And here are some of your answers. Our first pickup line is from Chell para kay Javi Gomez de Liano na UP Fighting Maroons. Hindi ka naman bola, di ba? Bakit? Pero bakit ganun? Kahit anong gawin mo, pasok ka pa rin sa puso ko. <laughs> the next pickup line is from Shayna Rose 27 for Juan Gomez de Liano of UP Fighting Maroon. May inhaler ka ba? Bakit? You take my breath away kasi... Oh! Eh! Hey, Parpat was ready! <laughs> Meron din si Arabella for Prince Rivero ng DLSU Green Archers. Archer ka talaga, no? Bakit? Pinana mo kasi yung puso ko. Pew! 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 Ito naman ang pickup line ni Lazelle Kainglet for 30 Ravenna of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Kuya, ayos ka ba? Bakit? Kasi crush po kita eh. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang. Para kay Anton, assist yun naman ng Ateneo Blue Eagles ang tweet ni Gia Gel. Pwede bang mag-apply bilang assistant mo? Bakit? Kasi hindi ako mag-retire or resign, boss. I'll assist you forever. You're hired. Sige na, okay na. You're hired. Okay na, okay na. And this next one is from Eliza Salvador for Aljun Malestio of the LaSalle Green Archers. Hindi ka naman alak, di ba? Pero bakit ang nakasantama ko sa'yo? Boom! 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 And finally, our last pickup line is from Mads for Rich Rivero ng DLSU Green Archers. Galing mo mag-dunk, pero lampa ka naman. Bakit? Nadaan ka na nga lang sa isip ko. Mahuhulog ka pa sa puso ko. Oh. Ah! Three points! <laughs> Grabe! Pet malunod! Oh, oh nga, malupit. So thanks guys for your tweets. Hindi naman magiging where pa yon kung hindi dahil sa inyo, mga Lodi. But now it's time for my favorite segment wherein we unleash the hidden musical talents of some UAAP players. That's right, Ange. And parang nagka-reunion kayo dito as you, former USD courtside reporter and USD Growling Tiger Jordan Santa Ana, got to jam with USD alumni December Avenue. That's right, Tours. At for sure, mapapag-go usted din yung mga fellow Tomasians mm -hmm. namin and OPM fans out there when they watch this. So guys, check out our SETI edition of UAAP Jam. edition of UAAP Jam and we're back here sa Alma Mater ko, University of Santo Tomas for an all fashion affair. Makakajami ko dito mismo sa Quarter Centennial Square, ang homegrown band ng USD, ang December Avenue and of course, the USD Growling Tigers. Ako, gusto ko na silang makajabing right now so let's go meet them! Kasama ko ngayon si Jordan Santa Ana at Justin Narana ng USC Growling Tigers. Hi guys! Hello! Hello! Round 2! Round 2 na tayo! Pero marami chances pa rin kayo para makakuha ng panalo. Ano na mindset nyo for your remaining games? 
ano, yung team namin, sinas lagi sinasabi na sa nang coach na treat us a family. So, yun. Tapos siguro ano lang, magfo-focus kami sa yung like team sport, kung paano kami maglalaro as a team. Ano ba yung ano nyo, pre-game ritual nyo? Ikaw, ako Justin. Nag, ano lang ako ng music. Nakikinig ka yes. ng music. Anong kind of music yung pinakikinggan like, mo? Like, yung kay Drake, Fake Club. Ikaw, kung makikinig ka ng music, ano bang kind of music yung gusto mong pakinggan? OPM. OPM, ha? Ah? Anong favorite OPM song mo? Ngiti. Ngiti. Ano bang inaasahan nyo sa magiging jamming natin today? <laughs> Nakakatakot to. Medyo nakakatakot? nakakatakot to. Mas okay ba kung basketball na lang tayo? Mas okay yun. Hindi. Kailangan jamming. Challenge to guys. Ano ba? Excited na ba kayo? Yes. Sabi sa inyo guys, it's an all the fashion affair. So, Growling Tigers, Jordan, Justin, meet the December Avenue. We have Jet, we have Dawn, and we have Zell over Hello. here. Hi guys! Hello! Hello. 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 Gusto ko itanong, <laughs> ngayon lang ba kayo ulit nakabalik sa USD? Oh, actually, oh. Ngayon na lang ulit. For sure, it brings back a lot of memories. Ano ba yung favorite memory nyo dito? Nung dito pa kayo nag-aaral? Tumambay. 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 Pero, paano nabuo yung band na to? Magkaka-same kami ng course. So, conservatory of music. Pero, syempre, alam mo na, pagka music student ka, parang everyday, puro music ginagawa mo. So, kaya lang, it's very different back then kasi classical music yung pinag-aaralan namin. So, we're trying to write songs na pop music, ganyan. So, ayun, nag-decide kami na start time banda. Pero, Zell, gusto ko itanong, bakit December Avenue yung pangalan nyo? Uh, December is the last month of the year. Okay. Which is, yung, ito yung time na gumagawa ka ng mga New Year's resolution mo. Alam mo yun, nagre-reflect ka dun sa previous year. So, December Avenue. So, December represents a bridge or the avenue towards the new year, which is a new life. Oh, very deep, very <laughs> sentimental. And ano yung iperperform natin? Ano yung jam natin today? Ah, uh, uh, itong song na to is called Fallen, um, which we collaborated with um, Clara Benin. Yes. So, let's start. Two, three. Because uh, I'm falling. Kasi yung Fallen, actually ano siya, inspired siya by yung mga ads ng toothpaste before. Okay. So, kaya parang merong mga words dun na closer into you, like ganun. So, parang inisip lang namin na uh, gawin na lang natin tong sariling song natin sa album and then collaborate with someone, which is Clara Benin. Pero, ang tanong, kamusta naman yung performance si Justin and Jordan so far? Uh, sa basketball ba? Hindi, <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, actually, parang nag-dribble sa labang kumakanta, pero oh, okay lang. Nanginig yung kamay. <laughs> oh. So, without further ado, guys, this is our special performance for all the Thomasians and OPM fans out there, Fallen by December Avenue. Like a train of love coming right and getting close to you. And I'm falling faster like the speed of light shining bright and chasing over you. Closer into you. Kaya naman 
our performance. Sana performance level yun para sa inyo. Pero, ito, ito muna. Ito muna ang main stars ng performance natin. Si Justin at si Jordan. Of course, thank you for giving us the time and for joining us sa jamming session natin. At babalik na tayo sa games nyo. Invite nyo naman sila sa mga um, games nyo dito sa Season 8. Um, please watch and support the USD Golden Tigers and our remaining games. Gagawin namin lahat para may panalo mga natitira namin laro. Yes, keep the faith lang. Thank you so much again. And of course, sa December Avenue, thank you so much for joining us <laughs> and for being with us dito sa UAAP no Jam. Ngayon, where could they find you? Where should they follow you? Gigs, uh, invite them. Visit our Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com slash December Ave. Uh, we're also on Twitter pala uh, and Instagram. So, on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash December Ave. And on Instagram, it's at December Avenue. Thank you again, December Avenue and Galing Tigers, all the mash and jamming affair talaga. So, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we enjoyed performing. And we'll see you again in the next edition of UAAP Jam, only here and upfront at the UAAP. Bye! through December Avenue and Jordan Santa Ana of USD. Grabe, nag-enjoy talaga ako. Nakajabing sila doon tours. At sana nag-enjoy and na-inspire din yung mga Tomasians out there as they'll be rooting for the Growling Tigers mamayang game on as they face the NU Bulldogs. That's right, and we'd like to say thank you to Adamson University for being our host venue for Upfront this weekend. And shout out then to all the students we met here. Guys, if you haven't seen us at your university, your campus could be up next. So guys, see you again next week before the games. This is your official game day habit. Up front at the UAP. UAP.